Hey guys, welcome back to Chalkboard Tutorials. So in this episode, we'd be looking at the annual equivalent rate and we'd be going through a quick example as well. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, the market for deposit taking bodies tend to be highly competitive. So it's in their best interest to make the interest rates look as attractive as possible. Uh, and therefore it's essential to determine the AER, the effective rate that's being paid while it's taking into factors such as the frequency at which the interest is paid or the effect of any one-off bonuses and any charges that might be imposed. But I think the best way to go about it is to look at a very quick example. Uh, so let's presume you have, uh, I don't know, $10,000 that you would like to invest. So you have $10,000. Now you have firm A that provides you with let's say 4.4% and this is going to be compounded quarterly. So you have 4.4% uh, compounded quarterly. Now you have firm B that provides you with the same rate of interest so you've got 4.4% but this one is compounded annual, uh, six monthly so every six months. What would you think or how would you determine the better savings account for you or if you had to go a step further what do you think is going to give you the better rate of uh, interest um, for your principal. So in order to calculate this we use the AER equation which is pretty simple straightforward uh, it's so you have AER is equal to 1 plus the rate of interest to the power of n which tends to be the period and the frequency with which uh, it's paid. So uh, let's have a look at um, let's have a look at firm A. So 4.4 percent. Now 4.4 percent uh, quarterly roughly equates to 1.1 percent uh, for each and every single period. So that's the interest that's paid for each and every period. So the first thing we do is we convert uh, this rate into decimals. So that would give us 0.011. Right? So we have the rate of return. So the next thing we need is to add 1. So we have 1 plus 0 0.011. And since it's quarterly, uh, the number of periods is going to be to the power of 4. Now if you plug that in the calculator, you should have 1 1.04473. Now to finally convert the result into a percentage, you simply subtract 1 and then you multiply it by 100. So again, once you plug that in your calculator, you should have 4.47 percentage. So we've pretty much worked out that firm uh, A would pay you 4.4% of effective rate. Now let's have a look at uh, firm B. Again, uh, same protocol. So firm B, uh, they are offering us 4.4% six monthly. So 4.4% six monthly would roughly equate to 2.2% for every single period. Now Again, make convert into decimal form, so divided by 100, you should have 0.022. So that is your rate of interest. Again, plugging in the equation, you have 1 plus 0.022. And since it's 6 monthly, uh, n is going to be 2 because you have two uh, fractions at which it's paid. Now, if you plug that into a calculator, you should have uh, 1.044484. And once again, you want to be able to convert the result into a percentage. So in order to do that, you minus 1, and then you times it by 100, which should leave you with... 4.45 percentage. So as you can see we've calculated, we've 
essentially compared both and whilst firm A provides you with 4.47 at the end uh, of the tenure or at maturity with firm B you only make 4.45% and that is how you calculate the annual effective uh, annual equivalent rate.